The next essential characteristic to cover is rapid elasticity. This video is brought to you by EpiPies Academy. The definition of this from the NIST is capabilities can be elastically provisioned and released, in some cases automatically, to scale rapidly outward and inward commensurate with demand. To the consumer, the capabilities available for provisioning often appear to be unlimited and can be appropriated in any quantity at any time. So let's have a look and see what this actually means. So you saw in the last lesson when we covered on-demand self-service that servers can be very quickly provisioned and up and running in around 15 minutes. So that was for our virtual machines. If we're provisioning any other kind of cloud software, that can almost always be provisioned very quickly as well. And just as it can be provisioned very quickly, it can be decommissioned, taken down just as quickly as well. So we can very quickly spin up or decommission our services as and when they are required. This is what's referred to as elasticity. So if you think of it like a rubber band, when you need to scale out, you can do that easily. And when you need to contract back in, you can do that easily on demand as well. And you only pay for the services as and when you're actually using them. So elasticity allows the cloud providers customers to achieve cost savings and this is often a core, one of the main reasons for adoption of cloud services. Let's have a look at some examples of where we would use this. So first example, say that 10 servers are required for a three month project. With cloud services, the company can provision them within minutes, pay a small monthly OPEX fee to run them rather than a large upfront CAPEX cost and decommission them at the end of the three months. If you compare this to what we would have to do before cloud computing was available, say that we're a company and a customer come to us with an opportunity, but we're gonna to have to scale out to be able to meet that opportunity. We're gonna to have to buy 10 more servers. Well, we would have to buy those servers as a large upfront capital cost and at the end of the three months when the project was done, we're gonna be left with those servers again and we don't need to use them anymore. So it's really not cost efficient and this might mean that we're not able to take that opportunity. With cloud services, because it's much more cost efficient, we're much more likely to be able to take that opportunity and this can give us a competitive advantage over companies that we're competing with. The next example, let's say that we're an e-commerce store. We're probably going to get higher seasonal demand at Christmas time. What we can do if we're using cloud computing is we can automatically spin up new servers as our demand is going up as well. So what we can do is we can monitor the load on the servers like the CPU, the memory, the networking load. And when it reaches a certain threshold, we can automatically add new servers to the pool to help meet that demand. And then when the demand goes back down again, again, we can have another threshold. And when it goes below that threshold, then we can start automatically decommissioning servers. So this is great. It doesn't require any manual intervention at all. We can do this all automatically. So those last two examples were for when we're using virtual servers in the cloud. Let's have a look at if we're using a cloud-based software service. And I'll use saleshandy.com for this example. What we can do here is we can use software for a short term and just pay for that short term rather than buying a one-off permanent license. So let's have a look at saleshandy.com. So I'm here on their webpage and what Sales Handy is mainly is an email service. So let's say that it's me that wants to use this. I've just completed recording this course and I'd like to let all of my contacts know so that they can go and download it. Well, I don't wanna email everybody manually, individually, that would take ages. So I'm going to use Sales Handy to do it. 
but I don't want to use Sales Handy permanently because I'm not normally sending out a lot of emails to everybody. This is really just a one-off thing when I've completed the course. Well, what I can do is I can use this second option here, the regular. Rather than going for the long-term $7 a month fee, I can pay a one-off $9 fee and I can just use it once. That's way cheaper than if I wanted to actually buy the software permanently, that would be more expensive. Notice that if I do take it on a long-term basis, I get a bit of a discount there at $7 rather than $9. So I can get good cost savings on my software licensing with cloud services. I can just pay for the services as and when I need them.